friends. So today we are enjoying the black and rose tea from Kitchen Witch Gourmet. It is an amazing, amazing tea. It's black tea, red roses, and absolute essence of red rose. I'm not sure what that means, but it's delightful. <laughs> All right. So here is a cup for you. That's yours. Enjoy. This is for me. Oh, absolutely amazing. Mm. How about a story? It's been a minute since we've enjoyed a story, and I think we are going to read The Tortoise and the Wisdom of the World. It is from my collection of African Myths and Legends, and this story comes from Nigeria, which is in West Africa. Tortoise and the Wisdom of the World Tortoise was very angry when he awoke one day to discover that other people around him had started to behave just as wisely as himself. He was angry because he was an ambitious fellow and wanted to keep all the wisdom of the world for his own personal use. If he succeeded in his ambition, he felt he would be so wise that everyone, including the great chiefs and elders of the people, would have to seek his advice before making any decision, no matter how small. He intended to charge a great deal of money for the privilege, and was adamant that nothing would upset his great plan. <laughs> this makes me think of those like productivity guys on YouTube that are always selling a uh, coaching plan. Which, nothing against making money on YouTube or selling a coaching plan. It just, whatever. Anyway. And so he set out to collect all the wisdom of the world before anyone else decided to help himself to it. He hollowed out an enormous gourd for the purpose and began crawling along on his stomach through the bush, collecting the wisdom piece by piece and dropping it carefully into the large vessel. After several hours, when he was happy he had gathered every last scrap, he plugged the gourd with a roll of leaves and made his way slowly homewards. But now that he had all the wisdom of the world in his possession, he grew fearful that it might be stolen from him. So he decided straight away that it would be best to hide the gourd in a safe place in the center of the forest. He soon found a very tall palm tree, which seemed suitable enough, and prepared himself to climb to the top. First of all, he took a rope and made a loop around the neck of the gourd. When he had done this, he hung the vessel from his neck so that it rested on his stomach. Then he took a very deep breath and began to climb the tree. But he found that after several minutes he had not made any progress, for the gourd was so large he kept getting in his way. He slung it to one side and tried again. Still, he could not move forward even an inch. He slung the gourd impatiently to the other side, but the same thing happened. Finally, he tried to stretch past it, but all these efforts came to nothing, and he beat the tree with his fists in exasperation. Suddenly, he heard someone sniggering behind him. He turned around and came face to face with a hunter, who had been watching him with great amusement for some time. Tortoise, said the hunter eventually, why don't you hang the gourd over your back? if you insist on climbing that tree. What a good idea, replied the tortoise. I would never have thought of that on my own. But no sooner had he spoken those words when it dawned on him that the hunter must have helped himself to some of the precious wisdom. Tortoise now grew even more angry and frustrated and began scuttling up the tree to get away from the thieving hunter. He moved so fast, however, that the rope holding the gourd slipped from around his neck, causing the vessel to drop to the ground, where it broke into hundreds of little pieces. All the wisdom of the world was now scattered everywhere, and ever since that time nobody else has attempted to gather it all in one place. But whenever he feels the need, Tortoise makes a special journey to the palm tree at the center of the forest, for he knows that the little pieces are still there on the ground, waiting to be discovered by anyone who cares to search hard enough. The end. My, my, my.
<sighs> it never does seem to work out when anybody tries to gather all of anything for themselves. Not in the long run. Anyway, let me know what you think of that story. And for now, it is time for your next adventure. I'll miss you. Cheers. <laughs>